Hey everyone, Blizzard KB here, and these are Meffert's helicopter cubes. These these were invented by Adam G. Cohen back in 2005, and he built his first handmade copy in around 2006, and now they're being mass produced by Meffert's. On initial glance, these look like just two by two cubes with extra lines on them, but it doesn't operate at all like a two by two. For example, there are these lines from top to bottom and left to right, but if you try and turn the cube by those lines, you'll get nowhere. That's not how this puzzle turns. It turns by the sides. So you can make all these 180 degree turns. And I'll turn along the front face. There's the top and then the right, and then the bottom and then the left. And then you can jumble the puzzle up and then solve from there. However, this puzzle is a lot more confusing than that as well. Because not only can you make those 180 degree turns, but you can make partial turns as well. For example, if I turn this face, I can now turn this front face as well. So as you can see, it's a jumbling puzzle. And it can get very confusing very quickly. Now, another problem with the jumbling of the puzzle is that it starts to block other pieces from moving. So it acts a bit of, like a bandage. So if I wanted to turn this bottom piece 180 degrees like this, I can't because this piece is blocking the way. So I, have, I would have to move that piece out of the way in order for this bottom section to move. So as you can imagine, this gets really complicated really quickly. I'll show a bit with the white puzzle as well. The actual turning of the puzzle, by the way, is, is really great. Um, efforts never disappoints when it comes to putting together puzzles that actually work well in your hands and they don't feel tighter or hard to turn or anything like that. But if I get another shape, uh, let's, let's choose a different uh, Let's choose the yellow side and turn it a little bit. Now we should be able to turn this top section. Oh, whoops. Uh, let's choose a side that can turn. I don't think I have that aligned correctly. Let's try this. Oh. Or this. <laughs> this should work. Okay, there. Found a position that can actually turn. But even finding positions that'll turn can be difficult at times. This puzzle will remind you a little bit of the master morphings that came out from Mefferts as well. This puzzle could turn 180 degrees on sides. But it could also turn a partial distance and then become a jumbling puzzle as well. So this one would mix up quite in a quite interesting way as well. The quality of the stickers are really good. Um, the only thing that I think would make it a little bit better is if they put, uh, oops, put red opposite of orange because they're a little bit similar. Yeah, on the camera, it comes out a little closer than how it is in person, but it's hard to tell the difference sometimes between red and orange, so it'd be nice if they were on opposite sides. And the same for their black and blue. They're a little bit similar, and it would have been nicer, I think, if they had put the black on the opposite side of the blue and the red on the opposite side of the orange. <clears throat> the puzzle itself works really great, though, and it's a, it's a very, very interesting puzzle, and it's really nice that it was able to come out at the time that it has now. Uh, there's a lot of new puzzles coming out recently, and so these are really nice puzzles to check out. It gives a really new challenge that you might not have seen before. I am Blizzard KB, and these are helicopter cubes.